Hi everyone, it's Karen here for Blue Fern Studios with a mixed media layout using the Attic Charm collection. Enjoy! I used both the Attic Key and the Spring Posy papers for the background from the Attic Charm collection. I cut the Attic Key paper in some areas to be able to preserve some of the designs and then I ripped the paper and just using it to create the background. I used some of the ripped papers and tucked them underneath to create the top of the background. Once I had glued the ripped pieces, I took some light paste and a flowery stencil and created some texture on the background to kind of break the pattern. I always like framing my photos, so I used a jewel chipboard frame from Blue Fern Studios and I embossed it in the Blue Fern Studios cotton candy embossing powder. As you may have noticed, I cut the chipboard in a specific place in the circle because I thought I wanted to tuck it underneath the ripped edges, but I decided against it and I just used it as a regular frame. I did have to emboss the frame two to three times in order for it to be fully covered as it was a light color. So this is the second time I'm applying the, the embossing powder and the third time I just don't show it on this. I also um, embossed the contentment title with the same embossing powder and this time I added a lot and I only had to do it one time as I didn't want it as strong as the other one. Once the paste was dry, I sprayed some pink and yellow color into the background and dabbed it in different places to create a little bit of uh, light coloring on the background of the page. Then I glued the frame onto the paper. I added the picture in the middle and then I decorated with a bunch of Blue Friend Studios flowers, some from Attic Charm Collection and other ones that I had in my stash. I also added a flower vine and cut it in different places because I wanted to create a downward motion in my layout.
Finally, I glued the title and my main composition was done. All I had to do was add some little details at the end. I took some white gesso and started adding white highlights on the flowers, on the leaves, and on all the elements on the page. That helps uh, unify the whole page together and brings really nice highlights to the different elements on the page. I also used a white gesso to create some texture on the background paper. I used my paintbrush and dabbed it on different places to create a kind of really nice texture in the background. Then using the sprays I added some more color, yellow and pink, to create some more highlights. I used first I thought I would spray it but then I used my paintbrush and added some more highlights underneath the flowers and around the foil. Finally, I covered my photo and added some splatters, both yellow and pink, onto the background. Then I glued two little resin birds and I was done. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Bye!